Okay, I found a perfect spot. All this stuff's been cleared, so there's no fence. Uh, there's some hay bales. Uh, I've always wanted to, well, straw, whatever you want to call it. I've always wanted to camp behind one of those, so today's the day. So, once, once I get all my stuff unpacked and these cars are not coming, I'm going to go right behind there. Might as well do it now. Okay. Okay, uh, I got a little spot here to put some stuff at uh, to not be seen so much. So I'm gonna get all this stuff out, put it back there, and uh, get back with you. Hey, uh, let me clean this lens off. Hey guys, um, this is a real sketchy one. I thought it would be pretty easy, but soon as I went to go put to go put my bike over there in the the weeds, um, a truck across the street came out of some kind of dirt road deal, and they have one of these on that property too. So this was probably his property. He saw me going over there to get this. He didn't see me put the bike in there, but when I was coming back, I grabbed this, I threw this up in the air, and I waved at him. That didn't mean nothing. Um, I think he turned back around. Um, that's why I ran back over here. He turned back around down the road to see where I walked to. I think he's still going back and forth, and I think he's eventually going to figure out that I'm right here. But if it happens... Um, I'm gonna to try to get it on video or at least get audio and I'll have this recording set down. Um, but I can't do any cooking or anything until it gets probably nighttime. I wanted to do it now. It's not much cooking anyway. Um, I'm not gonna have a fire. I'm just gonna to try to heat some food up the best I can. Uh, with a little burner um, that's going to be quicker than having all that smoke and everything uh, just to warm some water up. I went 30, 30 miles a day. I think, think exactly 30. Um, but I had to put my bike over there because there's no room for there's no room for a yoga mat here and a sleeping bag. So the only room in here that's not enough room for the yoga mat. It's a, and you can't move these. These are like 600 pounds a piece. Um, if, if that arm wasn't hurting, I might, might could have done it. But I grabbed this because I think they call, we called them crab apples. Um, they're really heavy. When we used to weed cotton fields out, we didn't take breaks. We, we worked 10 hours a day. We were supposed to get like an hour lunch break. But we threw rocks at each other, uh, slapped each other with ears of corn, um, threw these crab apples at each other. Yes, these are heavy. They hurt. So, I don't know if you heard that. Oh, shit. Let me go get that so that farmer doesn't see it all the way over there and know that that was me. And I'll bring you with me just in case he's over there on the other side.
I don't see them, but straight ahead that dirt road he came out of. I'm just hunkered down. Ooh, I used the word hunkered down. Oh, sorry, Steve Wallace. I stole your freaking words. But uh, there's a house over there too. So it's a good thing I didn't do a fire. Let's just start eating, folks. Let's get this shit going. Screw that mess. If we get caught, we get caught. <coughs> Fat guy of 30 miles. Yeah. <coughs> Fat guy riding 30 miles, you should understand. I don't want to do it, but I have to go all the way over there and get my burner and my coffee cup that has my lighter and my a uh, little deal on there, the gas stuff. Um, this is gonna suck. I don't want that guy coming back over here. But... Cars are coming, it's like rush hour around here. Man, yeah, this is gonna suck. My arm's killing me. I try to hold my bike up. It was feeling really good, you know, it's uh, not even hardly hurting much, but now it's really bad again. Yeah, I can't make it but halfway. No, I can make it over there. Okay. The problem was just trying to make it up back. So let me get this stuff and uh, meet you back over there. Well, I'll let you hear me huffing and puffing running back over there, fat guy running. Okay, got my stuff. Uh oh, truck's coming. Okay, I did it. I made it. Okay. Okay, let's get to cooking. This fat guy's hungry. We'll probably stop recording. Okay, what we're having today um, is chicken fried rice added with red beans and rice, added with Latin citrus, quinoa, and beans with tuna, with three packs of pepper and sea salt uh, wild caught tuna. Um, and maybe two protein bars. I'm just trying to eat some of this stuff up to get some um, calories in me. And for the 30 mile bike ride, I'm going to wrap it and nestle it in a tortilla or four or five. Um, drink it down with some Gatorade. I have water here so I can heat it up and put it in that first. And then I'll put the Gatorade powder in there. So let's get to it. Let's get to eating. The sun's about to go down there. And, uh. Time's a waste.
of the great and powerful Oz. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Okay, I'm going to let that heat up, put it in this bag, let it sit for f five minutes, stir it up, and then let it sit for four more minutes. Uh, heat up some more water, and then put it a little bit in this rice mixture here. Or I just drop this in there and heat this whole package up. Okay. I think that's hot enough. And what I'm gonna do with that water is put it back in there when it cools down, put it back in my water so I can serve it. I do not want to waste it. I'm gonna heat that up like so. Let me get the cooking all done before Farmer Joe comes back and thinks I'm gonna burn down his uh hay I did put it out this put it out this way a couple feet a few feet so I wouldn't um, mess up his uh merch I'm gonna put this on my arm while that's going it is freaking killing me Well, how the hell are you supposed to put it on your arm with no tape? Oh, that's sticky. Sticky, okay. I got it from, uh, got this from Dollar General before I left town. I'll let you know if it works any good. It's tingling. It's freaking tingling. Oh, right here. Just sitting here eating. Just sitting here eating. Why are you here? Do you have anything on you? I do have a. a a gun in here, but I have a concealed carry license from Mississippi. You don't have anything on you? No, sir. Just a pocket knife right there? Yes, sir. No, I, I came from Festus. I rode 30 miles a day. Gotcha. And I'm going to Sykeston. So what made you decide to sit here? Because I, I didn't see no trespassing, and I, I don't like jumping fences, and I'm just... Uh, Were you going to camp out here or something? I was, yes, sir. Yeah? Well, the property owner don't want you here. Obviously, that's why I'm here. Okay. No do problem. you have your ID on you? I do. Um, it's in my pocket. Yeah, I just didn't see no trespassing, so I thought I'd just go ahead and. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to take all that stuff. No, that's fine. Cards and money and all that good stuff. Yeah, I do try to respect people's stuff, and I, I just made sure to the no trespassing thing was going to say. Here's my concealed carry, just um, in case you want that for the. Which uh, which state uh, are you from? Mississippi. Yes, sir. Okay. But I would just um, in your concealed through Mississippi, Mississippi yes, sir. Gotcha. And it, it wanted me to drive my bike from because I, I started at the Arch. It wanted me to start and go through Illinois, and my gun's not good in Illinois, right. so I, I went to. So where's your my, gun at? Because I don't want to leave in you. That bag. I don't, do you have anything else in the bag? 
Um, no, just the gun. It's I'll, in the. Ca it's in a, do you care if I take your bag and I'll just set it against my car because I don't no, want. You can. No, I don't you want. Can. I don't want to go over there and. No, I understand. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through the bag. I'm just gonna okay. take it with me that way. I don't get shot in the front. So. Okay. No. No problem. Okay, well, police officers over there. This is the first stealth I got busted on, so I'm probably going to get my food and try to sit on the edge of the grass and eat in the ditch since they don't own that. Let me um, wipe that off. Okay, well, I'll show you the police. But he, he had his gun. He had his gun out, and uh, I guess the guy that actually had that went across the street that I said when I went to Crab Apple uh, caught me. So, there you go, folks. First stealth busted, uh, number 37. So, can't do two in a row. Um, I'll, I'll leave this on, uh, on the ground and um, pick up my stuff. Okay, guys, um, police officers were really nice, uh, but I'm, they said there's a church down there, uh, Highway O, so I'm probably going to sleep there, and I'll wrap this up down there. But what, what happened was the gentleman's wife uh, said something uh, to him that they don't want me here, and they're not going to press charges. Like, it's, no trespass, it's not a no trespassing thing. And I told them, hey, please put a no trespassing, tell them to put a no trespassing sign up, and an idiot like me won't be over here because... Uh, I went five extra miles to find this place because it didn't have a no trespassing. But they were real cool. Um, so I'm going to grab my bike, load it back up. It's going to be a late night. But uh, all is well. And uh, I'm probably just going to close this down and um, right now and, and wait for the next stealth, I guess. Go pull, stop. Oh, go pull. Hey, before I go, though, they said I could stay here and eat, uh, so that was a problem. I kept telling them if they, the guy or his wife wanted to come over, I'd shake their hand and tell them I apologize, um, but to let them know to make sure to put a no trespassing sign up. Um, but other than that, uh, officers were really good. I told them this would be stealth number 37. The video is still going out. Um, I'm not the type that if it if I lose a challenge on my other challenge, uh, channel or if I get busted here, that the video is not coming out, but it is. Uh, I asked them if they wanted to be on camera. They 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 said they probably was on camera enough, which is just their voice. Uh, so that's probably best for them. They didn't want to be on camera. Really nice gentleman again, and uh, really really nice because I didn't go to jail. <laughs> if you didn't go to jail, but thing of it is, they said they didn't want to press charges. I mean, they could press charges, but technically, there's no charges to do because it's there's I mean it's their property. But you can you can argue about it all you want. But uh, okay, well guys, I'm going down the street, going to that church. I'm not going to do a video there. I will see you at stealth number 38. I'm going to make sure it's the stealthiest fucking stealth ever.